Are you ready for a walk? Are you ready for a walk? Ready for a walk. Me too. Look at these enormous, look at these enormous bags. Where's Tara? Where are you? Where are you? Bag. Oh, there you are. Yeah. We're, uh, we're hiking. We got box wine, backpacks. Almond milk. Almond milk. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got heavy stuff. We're, we're, it's not really glamping, I guess, when you have that much weight, but, but we, we got all weight. the luxury goods. It's part of the, part yeah. of the thing is carrying a lot of weight. Yep. Did I also mention that we are bird hunting? Brought the 12 gauge and uh, sorry I was a little bit fast for the camera, but there is our first rough grouse. Nice big one. And he's flying away to grouse heaven. That was good. What is it, Scotty? You don't like it. He's fine. peek at that and then I'm gonna show there's a thing that I'm trying out today which is one of these blade tech shell holders I think these are for competitive shooters but then I don't know what you're looking with your eyes but not oh. the camera <laughs> <laughs> are they in the are they in the frame yeah yeah so they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty tight in there but they should just pop out for a reload Place my two for my two shots. Nice. Yeah, we hit a barrier, but uh, we found a canoe in the woods here. So because it's still early in the day, we're going to paddle across and keep on hiking. Well, we're not going to paddle. We have to cut a pole. I can't see. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can actually see it now. Here, I see We're it. thinking about setting up our camp here on this rock by this swamp over here that we just crossed. Um, I'm gonna have a, well, and there's another swamp like exactly on the other side of us. So we're between two. Yeah, we're swamped in, but um, thinking to maybe put the tarp here and uh, make a spot to sleep. Then we can have a fire on the rocks here. Tara's already scouted out this nice bench. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if there's like a a nicer spot just in the in the woods a bit. Um, every patch of mud that we go by has been completely trampled by wolves. There's so many wolf tracks, and we've passed wolf scats. Um, also, on the way here, huh, this is a, this is a nice flat spot here too, with more trees to tie the tarp to, and an old aluminum can that's been eaten by something. That one probably hurt coming out the other end. This might be a bit of a bit of a game trail. Maybe you don't want to camp right on a game trail, although this is a nice a nice spot. Fully empty.
Should I dig out the center a little bit or is it okay? No, it's, it'll be fine just flat on the ground okay. there. That'll be good. Maybe I'll even try and catch a little charge on my phone here while the sun is still up. Yeah. It's a beautiful fire pit. Thanks. I don't think we want it any lower. Scouty's right at home. <laughs> Probably put some rocks on the corner of the tarp at the back there just okay. to keep it from flopping in the night. But We'll pump up the double mattress. We'll pick that up recently. At, did I get set? Cabela's? Can't remember now. Yeah, I thought I got it at Cabela's, maybe. Anyway, we'll set that up. Brought a ground tarp. That can go in there. Cozy? So cozy. A nice little view. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it could be a great big lake. Yeah. Do you remember how long this took you when you did it before? I don't remember doing it. Oh, I yeah, can Oh. Get the walk. Um. I blocked it out. Yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it probably really beats trying to blow it up just by mouth. Oh, right? 100%. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think it took that long. Like, you're almost done. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first um, fancy air mattress that I've bought in forever. Like, over 20 years, probably. Yeah, and it was pretty comfortable. I it held the air fairly well. Yep. Oh yeah. All set up there. Have a little snack. Snacks. Yeah, there's lots of those uh, dragonflies flying around. Eh? There mm -hmm. was just one on your hand. One on your arm. His eyes look like rubies. Mm hmm. Or her eyes. Oh, that was creepy. What did it do? It just like, well, I was staring at it and then it, before it flew, it looked up and opened its mouth. Oh. And it kind of looked like it was going to bite me. Just to see if it could <laughs> bit you in. Yeah. Yeah, we brought some super Canadian box wine. I'm going to crack into that and use our brand new never been used tedx tumblers i washed mine though oh wow fancy <laughs> not mine no. mine is unwashed Maybe it's got extra little, germs on it got a little fire going oh i didn't update you i got a third grouse so we're gonna cook one and hang two on a tree bring them home tomorrow We gonna burn a fire all night to keep the wolves away. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Scotty will keep the wolves away. Yeah. You want to do the honors? Sure. So there's a little this little twig pile here. If you can get in and light underneath, then they should all catch, and then that should make an inferno from there. Yeah. Lose your hair. The beautiful hair. Yeah. <laughs> we should get some. Go get some of that. What is it? Oh, the pearly everlasting. Yeah. And make a little incense and a smudge. You know. Yeah. I saw some over at that pond, right? Yeah. yeah we could go fix that in a bit. Get a little. Get a little fire set so it doesn't have to be constantly fed and I'll put that lighter back in my pocket so I don't lose track of it. Good 
then we should just, uh, oh, I'm gonna clean a grouse. I'm gonna clean yeah. a grouse and, and set it to cook once there's a bed of coals. Um, and then we will add it to our freeze-dried meal. I picked up some freeze-dried camp meals from Princess Otto to give them a try. Yeah, it looks good. I was reading the yeah. package. I think it'll be good. It'll go with grouse. We'll cook it and then cube it up and have a feast. done before it just came to mind though. Okay, what is it? I make a pair of tongs to cook this grouse by splitting the end. When I walk to that pond over there, like you know how there is kind of like the golden Yep. yellow brick road with mm -hmm. all those pine needles and yep. they were all kind of falling as I was walking. It was oh, pretty cool. Was it pretty magical? Yeah. Sounds pretty nice. There's my baton. Louis baton. Let's call this baton Louis. Okay. Here, see what I did? I do. And then we'll just lever. No, oh, it's just uh, it's got a lot of spring to it. <laughs> it kind of looks like cute. Just <laughs> yeah. And just then, hanging uh, on for dear life there. Yeah. Alright, we'll let it cook for a while. And then we'll put Louis in the fire, Louis the baton. Okay. Get some of this alder wood coaling up. But before it does that, it's going to send some alder smoke up into this grouse breast. There you go. Uh, he's probably in the water eating grouse guts. Oh, gross. Okay. I put them out for a turtle, but I think he yeah, there is. found them. That's where he's going to be the rest of the day. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. You're just reinforcing his incessant need to fish for whatever yeah. in the water. Yeah. Because sometimes there's gross guts. Yeah. Little how long bit. do you think it'll take? Uh, probably 30 minutes or something, oh, depending on how closely we manage the heat. And if the wind, it's like sending all the smoke. Yeah, I could probably just stick it on a flat rock beside the fire and it would cook. Yeah, but then you wouldn't be using your cool little invention. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be like a waste of my brain. Yeah. Put it right there. Right in the smoke. You want a glass of wine? Yeah, let's do it. Oops, that's not a cool thing to do. <laughs> Just drop garbage yeah. in the woods? <laughs> yeah. You animal. Oh. Hello, wine. Is it going in? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you stay still and I'll... Okay. Oh, we'll be good there. Good. Alright. You want your lid on or no? Uh, I think no. Like a little I'm sippy gonna, cup? Gonna You're going to drink it like an adult? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, cheers! Cheers! Yay! TEDx wine? No, it's not TEDx wine. It's wine TEDx wine. tumblers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gave myself more than you. You want some more? I know where to find it. Okay. <laughs> it's not quite cooking temperature, but it's close. I think after these alder logs all catch, there'll be a little more heat here.
if they catch. Don't entirely seem to want to burn very well. Can you hear a scout crying? Put the grouse guts in the lake, in the swamp, so that he wouldn't eat them. And they're literally floating like 20 inches past the end of his nose and he's too scared to swim for them. He doesn't want to take his paws off the bottom. Hey Scotty, you having a big cry? You getting tortured? Oh, they're on the move now. I didn't, I didn't bring nearly a long enough. Ouch. Not nearly a long enough stick, Scotty. Oh, he wants that all, like all the feathers too? Well, that's where all the guts are. Oh, I guess so. They're all attached. This is a, gonna become a big operation. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not that important. We can just listen to him cry about it. Yeah. Hey, is this a good idea? After all that. Look at how it's golden, really goldened up on the bottom of the breast there. It's cooking really nice. Yeah, looks good. All right, that grouse is almost ready. I think I'm gonna take it off and set it aside and we're gonna cook some of these freeze dried meals that I got from Princess Otto. But they take two cups of water each, which means I gotta get this whole Super Sparrow bottle up to a boil or a near boil anyway. So I'm gonna rig that up using, you've seen me use this before, a that fishy thing. I'll show you. All right. We're gonna want this raised up. And you, little grouse, oh, ouch, that's hot. I'm gonna put you down here where it's hot still. Now, take the sleeve off. Take the lid off. We're gonna go fishing. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, I caught one! <laughs> How cool is that? I think you can still get these from Jared's Etsy store. Around and around and around. Go under there. Get this rope out of the way. This up a little bit. Where'd you put the grass? Oh, it's on the rock. Oh, here. I see it. 
Yeah. Um, just center the coals under it. And you might get a nice sunset here. Sorry, you're focusing on something else. That's all right. I like sunsets too. Yeah. Yeah, that'll heat up. Super Sparrow. That's a cool logo. Yeah, it's neat, eh? Yeah. They sent me a bunch of water bottles, which was nice of them. Is that gonna wreck the bottom of your the bottle? Have you done this before? Uh, it's stainless steel, so it shouldn't. So then it's just like a like a like a soup pot or whatever. Yeah. 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 And when Jared designed this fishy thing, so he's a guy from BC, I think and he invented this product and it's called the fishy thing because this little tab looks like a little yeah. fish yeah so it fits inside the neck of these mouths on these water bottles and then just suspends them know, yeah so it basically turns your stainless steel water bottle into a cooking vessel or like boiling i like it you can put soup in there yep yep like it'll heat it to boiling it should yeah awesome yep see how long it takes and then this grows I'm just gonna keep moving it around um, like what it could you could like pre make a chili close by. or like a super chili in those right and then just heat them up yep yeah and, and before I've also dehydrated chilies so kind of like those free dry freeze-dried meals except just like all dried ingredients you can dry the ground beef and everything Chili. <laughs> Don't drink my my water, Scout. This is for coffee tomorrow. Yeah, some it's dirty such... old swamp water. I'm gonna make that filter work. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's been watching my channel for a while, that should be enough, eh? That looks like urine. Yeah knows that I've had some mixed success okay. with with filters. I'm just gonna scan the area because I think it looks cool. Yeah. It's beautiful. The sun's hitting it just right. Yeah. And we just flushed out how many? There think? was over twenty. I counted them as they flew. There was like I, I think they were mallards. They might have been black ducks, but whole yeah. block. They were loud. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what stopped us. We couldn't get past the, well, we decided not to get past this part. Yeah. We could have. We actually, it wouldn't take long to just walk that no. edge. No, we were both done though. And we both privately in our minds were like, that's a good camping spot and didn't yeah. say it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's got a, a serious zip lock thing on it. Anyway, so the your analysis bag yeah. up there and then we just clickety click for the gravity filtration oh the way it goes it super looks like urine yeah. here it comes <gasps> clean water for coffee yeah that looks decent yeah, you drink that? Oh, it's still pretty yellow, but what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Giardia. <laughs> I think this will filter Giardia. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's big. And then this, like you can have this, you can drink from this, right? So you can have this in your bag and have this hose coming over your back strap and then sorry. Just be drinking from it. I just was explaining it to you. I, probably most of the world knows that, but okay. This is my first time using this system. But, but you're an idiot, so I have to. Do I was, <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. That's Wayne Gretzky talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another glass of wine. Yeah, it Waller. still looks pretty. You say tannins from yeah. the like all the bark in the water. Like, what's it all from? Yeah, yeah, like from vegetation, I think. 
Yeah, I trust the filter. Yeah, and we're doing like a super simple coffee prep tomorrow. We just got some instants. Instant sugar coffee. Yeah. Where are they at? Oh, they already have like... They're creamy and sugary. So that's going to be easy when we switch over from wine drinking from to... Wayne Gretzky. Uh, yeah. Wayne Gretzky. He did not sponsor this video. This grouse is cooked. This water you might be able to see steam coming out of it. It is near a boil, which is probably as close as we are going to oh, get. Oh, you can totally see the steam from this end. Yeah. Yeah. Amidst the smoke. And then we're going to... Rip it open? Yeah. You probably need a knife. Oh, oh too bad I don't. Yeah. I haven't used it yet. Tara's got a new knife. Take out the thing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do we... Yeah, don't, that, don't... We're going to take that out as garbage. Okay. The oxygen absorber. And then we're going to open this other one. Okay. And set that one down on the ground. Oh, I'm going to look in there. Oh, yeah. Looks like uh, <laughs> granola or something. It does. Weird. I like how on the package it says, don't worry if you forgot to take out the desiccant. Oh, where is it on this one? Oh. Does it say that? I thought it, it does. Was like absolutely take it. No, no, it says, if you forgot, don't worry, you're not gonna die. Um, I can't find it. It's in there, just dig. It's like the toy in the cereal. Where's the toy, where's the toy? Oh, weird, like, where is it? Maybe oh, that's the it, one that they forgot to put one into. <laughs> no, it's definitely dry. <laughs> okay. I got it. All right, and then, what do we do? We put the hot water in. We put we 200 let it sit. mils into each one, and I brought my trusty I'll, I'll, oven mitts. I'll do it with my gloves. Okay, that's I'm going to pass the camera to you. Okay. Um, but we put it in, and then we let it sit, then and then we seal it up for seal 10 it minutes. Seal it for right? 8 to 10 minutes, yeah. All right. So, that fishy thing. Fishy, 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 fishy. I don't know why it doesn't want to catch. I don't know why Scott's crying about this. Up there, but anyway. The fishy thing is just angled right to catch in the neck of the jar, but then you should be able to... Ouch, water's hot. Yeah. Who would have okay? thought, Tara? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Let me do this without burning my rope. Get it away from the fire. Let's leave it in there for now. Yeah, I was going to say, you can pour it with that in. Yeah. So this is a one liter Super Sparrow. So we'll put half into here. Hot, hot water. Half into here. A little bit more in here. Oh, there's green peas in there, and there's like rice. Yeah. And then this. I think we. Okay, sorry, I forgot I was filming. But then I think you, I think you seal them. There it is. Oh, I don't think so yet. Oh. I think you stir it and then... I did study it. Well, you studied it? <laughs> okay, what does it say? Put the camera on it. Carefully add two cups. Stir carefully and close the zipper. I can't focus the camera. No, that's okay. Just back the camera up. It focuses better from a little bit of a distance. Like, but all I want to do is read it. So oh, stir okay. care. You're right. We have to stir carefully and then close the zipper. Well, I remembered to bring two spoons. Oh. And then it's optional after four minutes to stir it again. And then we let it sit in there zipped for eight to ten minutes. Forever! <laughs> I would say that I was fairly careful stirring that for you. Um, yeah, I did say carefully. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. <sighs> When you're haphazard stirring. Yeah. <laughs> you have to start again. 
All the smoke is going in my eyes. I'm gonna have a little cry over here. Okay, well, that one's fairly. Can I zipper it? We have to zipper them. Yeah. Stop crying, Jeremy. Get your head in the game. Yeah, get, get it together. <laughs> Okay, then the other thing we have to do, we're gonna chunk up that grouse and then we're gonna share it. Okay. We'll put little grouse cubes in yeah. there. Yeah. Can I just have a grouse cube not in there? I was just gonna offer. Yeah. I wanted to try some just on its own. I think it'll be the first time I'll I- will trade you for a camera. Yeah. It'll be the first time I've eaten a thing I saw got shot that day. What? Well, or not, am I just That's very like, specific. Just gonna like rip out a piece? Yeah, do it. Or you could use your new knife on it if you want. Um, <gasps> you animal. I am gonna go animal on it. And Scotty, not for you. You beggar. It's gonna be dry, because grouse is dry. It's a very lean. Mm, it tastes like gum. Uh, nutty. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Just like Scout, he's nutty. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Thumbs I'm up. not sure if we want to... Oh, you want to just eat it yeah. on its own? I'm game. Yeah, I'm in. Let's, you're game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, let's just eat it. Okay. Yeah, because uh, like it's dry, but it's um, it's got a neat taste. Did you hear that? There's Scout crying his face off. Nope. That was a farther away sound. That's okay. I didn't hear that. It sounded like a woo! He did just cry. Okay. But you Maybe it's my imagination. Or Look it's how a... orange I am! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we are going to... We're just going to eat this. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. where am I? We're just going to split it in half maybe and each pick from a side. Maybe drink some more Cab Merlot from Wayne Gretzky. Like it'll go bad if we don't, so. Yeah. <laughs> and should. then uh, we'll dig into these freeze dry meals. I'll show you what I did with the other two grouse too, in case you're curious. I'll be right back. I'm not going far. I'm trying to eat this entire grouse. Okay. All right, I just hung them up. Partly so Scout can't reach them, and then also partly so animals can't reach them, because as I mentioned earlier, there are scats and tracks everywhere on this ATV trail. So anywhere you get down in the mud over there, wolf tracks. Uh, adult wolves, wolf pups, maybe also fox tracks. So they're... There's a lot of wildlife. Actually, my main concern tonight is that because we're pretty close to the swamp, it's right there. We're right there. I'm kind of worried that the beavers are going to smell us and just slap their tails and be obnoxious all night, but we'll see what happens. <sighs> yeah, wet. throw it on or we'll throw on some pine. Some of these big dry pine pieces. Yeah. They can burn like. There's not much to them, but get a little get a little night fire started. Oh, that one looks like an animal. It is an animal. <laughs> uh, which, which side I started is? picking on this, this is the bigger side though, I think. That's fine. I want to do this. That's what I was gonna do. Oh, you need a knife. I need a teeth. <laughs> I will use it and I'll be like, put the camera. Mm -hmm. Do you taste it? I mean, you eaten it before. I don't find it nutty. I find it like really mild and dry. Hmm. Where did the pellets go on this one? Uh, one went through right here right mm. at the shoulder joint or whatever you would call that on a bird. Yeah, I saw the hematoma when it was cooking, but I didn't know it was from the skinning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
You wish. <laughs> you wish. I don't know if you guys remember I'm here, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I totally feel like I got the meaty side. Here, dip. Go for it. No help. I still have a whole bunch of mine. Uh, what fork would you like? Or spoon? Which spoon? I like the fork. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's nice and warm. This is a lot of food. Freeze-dried chicken teriyaki with rice. How much food is it? It's warm. That's good. 760 calories. Not that much when you've hiked eight kilometers with a big oh, pile of stuff good. on your back. Are we gonna cheers this? Cheers. 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 Yeah. I could wolf that down. Yeah, there's lots of flavors in here. Mm-hmm. Mostly teriyaki. What's that? That bird, see it? That bird just attacked the grouse that were hanging. Oh no. That's what happened. That's why that feather came off. I think it swooped through and then... It was a big bird. Did you see hawk? it? Yeah. yeah. That was weird. I wonder if, it, if the camera got it. Well, it won't no, be in frame, yeah. but it might, you might have heard it. Clearly the it. The wing flapping. How bizarre. Well, maybe should you put them somewhere else? No, that's not a night bird, so... Okay. Like, but what about owls? Like, I wouldn't... I don't know where else you would put them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Closer to where I we're sleeping. I wasn't thinking that a hawk would swoop down and <laughs> grab gross out of a tree. Like my <laughs> dead hanging ones. I would if I was a hungry hawk. Weird. I think we killed it. Mm -hmm. oh, look at this, hanging food. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That was so bizarre. Yeah, I missed the whole attack thing. I was just was mm. proud of myself for seeing that bird. Oh, well, I saw it swoop by, but I only assumed that that's what happened because a couple feathers came drifting off. And it was on that trajectory, So when right? you were hanging it, I was, I was wondering how safe they were going to be from like, I don't know who would want to eat it, but mm. it's not that high up. Everything. Mice. Like a bear squirrels. can get to it. But yeah, but a bear's not going to come in this close. A wolf can't. A wolf can jump. I was going to say they can jump that high. But like, they're not going to come in this close. So why are you even hanging them then? So the mice don't eat them. Oh. Mice can't crawl up trees. Mm-hmm. But... I'm hoping it's like mostly a deterrent. I guess we'll find out. Mm hmm. You didn't kill three more on the way out. Yep. This is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Like, I'm not going to be able to eat this whole thing. Oh, no? Like, not in one, like, maybe by the end of the night, but. Yep. I think we're just going to, uh, Eat, drink, and be merry. We'll probably yeah. check in in the morning unless there are wolves or bears or owls in the night after my two grouse. Yeah, and if there are, the first thing I'll do is turn the camera on. Yeah, That's, <laughs> that'll be your job. The first thing oh, I'll do is like, well, oh, yeah, I still got them. Carrying around with me my two shotgun mm -hmm. shells. Yeah. Load them up, fire them off. Yeah, we'll be, so, we'll be super safe. Yep. Let's go, girl. Hmm. Down to lake. Like, I feel like we missed the best part, but... So I didn't show everybody the beaver lodge, which is right there. And uh, a beaver did just slap its tail. So hopefully it 
doesn't feel like being obnoxious and worried all night and just keep making a racket. On this little swamp. Try and catch him on the camera for you. Yeah. Oh, that was perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go get him, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, or cry about it. Beaver drama. Scout drama. Have you ever seen him voluntarily swim? No, that's the first time I've seen him <laughs> swim. He swam from like over there, not from here, from over there. Yeah. So the beaver slapped his tail and then he started whining and he just went for a big old swim and, and now he's on a piece of floating. Normally he cries his head off because he's like, guys, I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to swim. I can't get to you from here because I can't swim. He just fucking booted, sorry, he just booted it <laughs> over there. Oh, my video has been demonetized. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that was insane. And I kind of wanted to see what was going to happen, but then if you think the beaver can hurt him, now he's stuck on that thing forever. Oh, oh yeah, there's like no contest. Dog versus beaver in the water. Beaver wins. Why? Well, it's a it's a water animal. No, wolves eat beavers. He's going to win. On land. Oh. They don't swim after them. They catch them when Why they're out. Why is my dog so dumb then? I don't know. Come on, Scotty. Come. We gotta swim back now, dum dum. Yeah, Scotty, figure Come it on, out. Come on, Scotty. Oh, look, the beaver's right there. <gasps> Where? <gasps> right to the right of him. It's so I'm close. So <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna see it and he's gonna swim after it because it's gonna slap its tail in a second. Oh, I, I hope this. <laughs> Called it. Oh, shit. It's got st stuck there forever. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting him. He has to get <laughs> Scotty, come. Hey! Scotty, come. Scout! Oh, you're gonna get me demonetized. Well, like, well, that is definitely the right time to say that. Come on, Scotty. He's a beaver hunter. Maybe. And maybe he just wants to be their best friend. <laughs> but the beaver's just gonna gnaw his neck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell my kids. Yeah. But they don't have a dog. Come on, Scotty. Scotty, come. Scout, Scout, come. Oh, it's right here. It's oh. between us and yes, him. <laughs> yes. Bring him home. Bring him come home. On, come on, Scotty. Come on. Come on, Scotty. I don't think you should jump in there with the beaver, Scotty. Come on. Scotty, come. Come on, Scotty. Get off your little island, dum dum. I know. Why? You, like... Come on, you're a good boy. Come on. Oh my God, we're gonna be here for hours. <laughs> Seriously, like. <laughs> if I have to swim after your dog in this a beaver-infested gonna... swamp with freezing no, no. cold water, he's gonna figure this out. It's gonna drain yeah, your battery, or though. Or he's gonna die out there. <laughs> no, he won't die. Like, actually, I'll go get him. I'm not gonna make you go get him. Like, whatever got him to there. Beaver, yeah. come here. It, beaver it, love. We just need the beaver to be right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here on shore, and then he'll be right here like, like a dirty he's capable. sock. He's capable. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I might be stressed about it later, but right now it's still funny. Yeah. I'll go get him some food. Uh, not yet. I'm, I'm not going to go resort. and uh, throw some wood on the fire. Yeah, I was going to do that too. That's bye, Scotty. Yeah, bye. Come on, Scout. <laughs> Scotty, what's well, this? That, that's completely unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we said good night and everything. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, wait. The night's not over. And the wolves haven't even shown up yet. It's right. just all beaver action. Well, they're not because of my scare wolf. Yeah. I think he might have... Scotty, come! Good boy! Oh. Good boy. Come on, Scotty. Just don't knock my Wayne Gretzky over. Okay. We'll check back in. We'll let you know if Scout survived. Is he still on his hill? Yeah, 10 minutes later, Scouty is still out in the swamp. I will check back in for the YouTubes. 
Is that a scout warming fire that you've made there? Yeah, um, like, he knows what's good for him. He's just gonna come back here and warm himself up. Yeah. Or die on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> His island. His little island. It's my island. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Scouty. I'm gonna go get his food. All right. No, he doesn't need more food. No, he does. 708. Scouty swims back from the little I'm island. So proud of you, Scouty. So stressful. I didn't want to have to save you. Yay, let's go get your treat. 708 and it's dark. I know. Don't go back! Stay here. I'll <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's the end of that little adventure. Just, I just was cutting down big trees because I thought somebody was going to swim for them, like Tara was going to. So I wanted to make sure I had enough firewood to make a big warming up fire. Yeah, he got so brave. <laughs> Scouty, so you scared. dumb nut, hey? You dumb nut. Oh, so happy I don't have to swim out and get him. Good night, everybody. This looks like it'll be pretty burny. Oh yeah, break it up, put it on top. Pushed it out of my way and then I was like, I think I'll keep you. <clears throat> Don't put too much on at once though, it's a little bit okay. fragile right now. This little fire. That brick park was um, not as burny as I thought it might be. Oh. You slept all right? I did. Me too. So you went back in the pond in the night, but not deep. I did hear the beavers splashing a couple times, but that was it for night noises, really. Just a few mice, maybe. Yeah, it was super quiet. Like, there's no insects. Oh, yeah, you, can, you can throw all that on now. Um, yeah, I think we'll have to figure out a better sleep system. So we did um, one sleeping bag over, one sleeping bag under, and that mostly worked, but there were a few spots where cold air was getting in. And Scout hogged half of the... Yeah, somehow he ended up hogging more than his... Fair share. Well, he wasn't supposed to have any of it. <clears throat> yeah. But so I, end, I ended up being warm because I had him on one side. Yeah. And you on the other side. And I was on the mattress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to boil water for coffee. I think I showed you I brought in some lazy coffee, just like some instant stuff. And then uh, we're also going to have some cereal. Then we'll adventure, so we'll check back in. And to keep you abreast of what's going on, I can show you that a tarp kept all the dew off of us. So everything under the tarp is nice and dry, but my camera box, which was just, just outside of the line of the tarp, and the part of my vest that's just outside of the line of the tarp are quite fat. Just waiting for this water to get hot enough to have some coffee. So we got stuff hanging around, drying out, making a little power from those Gold Zero panels. See if I can get a charge on my phone. It, it got cold last night, so it lost all of its charge. Unfortunately, the same with this camera, it's reading like a really low battery, even though I didn't use it too, too much yet, but just from the temperature. I have a spare battery though, so we're thinking we might go for a walk after this, mm -hmm. and then come back and pack up and make the hike out. So we really want to get to the end of this trail. There's like a Google Maps Easter egg, I think. We're going to go see what it's actually about, because as far as I know, there's nothing there, but Google Maps makes it look like, like there's something there. And uh, so I'm curious. Yeah, one packet per cup. 
These are for sure like hot and cold beverage containers, right? Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. I'm not 100% sure. Well, you didn't rip it all the way across. Oh, no. Now you have to be super patient waiting for it to <laughs> dispense. But I'm not patient because I haven't had caffeine yet. Really? Instead of just doing a job halfway, Tara. <laughs> Good. Ah. Well done. What are you growling at, Stody? So I realized that's a kind of a handy thing about this water bottle is it came with a sleeve mm. which um, then is going to cover up all the soot when we're traveling and then I can wash it when we get home without getting fire soot all over everything in my bag just over the just over that sleeve. We just flushed up this little spruce grouse, which uh, I'm going to say they're not super common, but this is the right habitat for them. It's your lucky day, bud. What was it, Scouty? We, uh, we flushed another spruce hen, so I'll give you another look here. Very pretty male. Have that nice red patch over the eye and the black chin, little white cheek, and uh, they don't tend to fly too far. Oh, is that a woodpecker that I hear? So I'm about eight feet away from them. Six feet away from them. Yeah, he's pretty close. Yeah, hey, buddy here. You're handsome. Hey, you're handsome. Can't hold the camera steady. There he is for you. Spruce grouse. Where are we at? We were up to 11. 11 grouse. And then there's 12 pretty, pretty little hen spruce grouse. And then, if I can find that rock over there, right there, 13, and one just flushed off the path here, so maybe that's 14 grouse in two days, and these spruce grouse, oh, there's another one on the ground over here. They're just like sitting ducks, right? Yeah. So what, what are we at now? 15? <laughs> Something no. like that? 14? I just listened to you count. I yeah. forget. Keep me honest. 14 or 15. Yeah, somewhere around there. Try and do this so there's not too much glare. So we, we got to a train track. That is the end of this path that I wanted to walk. It's where I hoped it would take us. And the Google Easter egg wasn't really an Easter egg. It makes it look like there is a um, some kind of a hotel here. And in fact, on the edge of the railway bed, there is a uh, there is something that's got the word hotel on it. But it is somebody's private goose hunting camp. It looks like to me. Um, but it was fun. We made it all the way out to where we wanted to. We've seen, we think, 15 grouse. Yeah. Yeah, flushed a few more, and uh, this is partly what I wanted to come and find is, are, these old glass insulators on these old telegraph lines. Yeah, so there's all old glass insulators. I don't, I don't know how old these uh, poles are. 
but I imagine they're pretty old. Trees growing up around them and stuff. Um, presumably if we snoop around long enough we'll find some some of these glass insulators down on the ground here. Although I don't know how Tara feels about carrying them out. I don't know how heavy they are. <laughs> they're solid glass. Um, I don't even know if we'll find one but we'll, well I mean, spend a couple minutes looking. All this way. Yeah. No, you'd expect them to just fall straight down from the pole and that's exactly what they have done. Dominion. 42. This one says 14-46 and it's got an A in a circle and what else does it say? Whittall Tatum, number one. So there's going to be all different generations and styles and makers of these insulators and there's a whole bunch of nerdy people around the world who probably love collecting these. Thirsty? Guess we're yeah. going to get a whole liter, eh? Yeah. That'll be good. I have... Oh, I've got to turn the camera so I can hit my Fitbit here. 4.97 kilometers. An hour and 16 minutes. That's, yeah, just to get back from the rail bed. So that means we've done 10K today already. Yeah. Just as an extra side jaunt. We still have to do our distance back, which I'll, I'll measure with uh, the Fitbit and I'll let you know how far that was. We're gonna have a little bite to eat. Pick some tamarack needles <laughs> off of ourselves and uh, pack it up and get out of here. I don't even know what time it is. Ah. <laughs> what happened? It's just a really gross caterpillar. My uh, guide wear coat, which basically was the second blanket last night. see something disgusting? I don't know. Tara, look at that. What? Getting bit by a black fly. Uh. Kill it. I don't see it. On my arm? Yeah. This? Yeah. It's a black fly? Yeah. Not well, anymore. No. <laughs> it's almost November. Yeah, next time, bring my luggage scale. Yeah. We'll figure out exactly how much weight we're carrying. swamp behind us is the one that we used the canoe for on the way and we used the canoe on the way back but that nice alder pole that I cut the beavers stole it in the meantime at least I can only assume that that's who would steal a nice fresh alder pole lying at the side of the swamp so I used a dead one anyway we're on the final stretch now <laughs> and the hills are hurt we made it we did um, 11 and a half kilometers from the railroad tracks to uh, here. So that means yesterday we did six to get to our campsite. And today we did a total of? Six, 17. 17. Yeah, a bunch. I'm feeling it. Yeah, well that was a good weekend. Oh yeah, we've seen 20 grouse in total. We've been counting them. I think six of them were spruce grouse. Which was fun because I haven't seen any in a long time. 
when I get home, I'm gonna weigh this bag because I'm curious. And, uh, yeah, and yours is probably like maybe 10 you are too. Yeah, yeah, we'll weigh them up.